Ooh, daddy. Hi guys, Alex here, and today we've got a doozy. So I got a couple of topics lined up for you guys. First, we're going to talk about Amber Lynn and what she had to say about the reception she got on yesterday's video. She made a couple of snaps on her Snapchat, and she is not too happy with what people had to say regarding the fact that she didn't wash her hair for two months and just why that was and we're also going to talk about Chantal and how her continuous irresponsible behavior may have caught up to her so first I wanted to talk about Amber Lynn, of course and her snapchat posts from yesterday this is the first one that she put up she says it's mind-blowing how people don't take mental health seriously I truly cannot believe the comments on my new video but then again I shouldn't be surprised should I? So the first thing I wanted to say was the reason that people don't take Amber Lynn's mental health seriously is because she does not take her mental health seriously, at least not on YouTube. The clickbait thumbnails, the titles, the way that she talks about it sometimes and uses it for attention. That is exactly why people don't take it seriously. And I don't think that she said uh, outright blatantly that she didn't wash her hair for two months because she was depressed. But now that I think about it in hindsight, that does seem like the only reason that somebody would be driven to that. No. I don't know. Anyways, the next thing she had to say was depression isn't always the same for everyone, but depression for me is not washing my hair for two months. And sadly, that's not even the worst of it, but I won't share the rest. So here she is doing another one of her classic manipulation techniques where she mentions that things are far worse than they appear on camera, even though on camera they appear bad, but she does want to stir up that speculation, get people talking. She's done this in the past uh, when she would allude to a problem being uh in Becky's family, there being a very large problem that made her upset, but she can't tell us why. So she strings us along with these types of comments. Uh, that's something that she's definitely known to do. I'd rather uh, people not make fun of my mental illness any longer. Some people are so sick and twisted. I mean, come on. I feel like you make fun of your own mental illness when you get on camera in a towel on your head looking absolutely ridiculous. They'll learn soon that not everything is black and white. The gray area is the most beautiful but scariest area. Depression is paralyzing and sometimes makes you forget about the beautiful parts. I want to be reminded, but then I see nothing but meaninglessness all around me. I'm not even really sure what to say that because say about that because that didn't exactly make much sense at all in my opinion. So what do you guys think about this? I think that she doesn't take her mental health seriously on her channel. So how does she expect us as the viewer to take it seriously and strings us along with um, wanting to speculate on just how bad things are because she's not open and honest about it. And she's done this in the past. It's been her content for quite a few videos, um, especially recently when she talks about how bad things were last year but she also talks about how she was trolling that entire time so it's really hard uh, to believe or take any of it seriously all right so i just wanted to make a disclaimer before we get into the next part of the video that this is obviously not for comedic purposes but it is to highlight the importance of how irresponsible Chantal has been in the past couple weeks and just how close to home she really has been affected by this and yet she continues on with her behavior of countless drive throughs and getting takeout food as often as she can despite multiple warnings by her viewers the government, you know, social media, the press. So I just wanted to share this with you guys and let you know just how close it has hit Chantal and how she seems to have not really changed her ways at all. 
So this uh, is an article from OttawaMatters.com, a local paper uh, near Chantal. She lives in Ottawa. She has said that on stream many times. If you guys don't remember, just about a week ago, she was on stream showing us around Ottawa. So she is no stranger uh, letting us in on that side of her life. So she did go to two, not one, but two McDonald's that night, despite the chat constantly asking her what exactly she was doing. So someone sent me this on Twitter and it says McDonald's temporarily shuts after employee tests tests positive for COVID-19. Anyone who visited the McDonald's at on April 4th is asked to follow instructions by visiting the Ontario Public Health website. So the reason that I'm bringing this up and how important it is is because this is actually the McDonald's that Chantal went to to order that croissant and that iced coffee so lackadaisically uh, during that live stream. And she did visit that on uh, April the 2nd. So, all right, let's read the article. A McDonald's met restaurant on... I'm blocking that part out, but this is the McDonald's that she, the one that she visited in that live stream, has temporarily shut down after an employee tested positive for COVID-19. The McDonald's at the corner in the city's east end closed its doors Saturday. McDonald's Canada confirmed Sunday. Out of an abundance of caution, McDonald's Canada made the decision to immediately shut down the restaurant for a thorough cleaning and sanitation by third-party cleaning experts. So it goes on to say that the employee last worked on April 4th from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, any guests who visited the restaurant on April 4th are asked to take direction from the experts at the Ontario Public Health. So Chantal actually visited on the 2nd or like the early morning of the 3rd, and they don't exactly say when this employee worked besides that time, but it honestly is pretty scary. All right, you guys, I thought I would end the video by doing a comment of the day on Amberlynn's video, Haven't Washed My Hair in Two Weeks. The reason why I haven't been doing as many comments of the day is because this website, the Sandra Series Art website, doesn't work as you guys can see, but I found a different website that I don't think is as good, but we can still do it because you guys are asking where comment of the day is. So let's randomly pick a comment. This is from Ms. Hunter. They say, thank the internet for ad block. ALR doesn't deserve a single penny from viewers. I see this sentiment a lot. I can honestly say that she is not making much money right now. I don't think anybody is. All right, this is from Sunny Malone. And they say, and just when you think it can't get worse, girl down wash that head for two months. So I saw someone in the comments um, showed me a video that she did in February where she said that she washed her hair, I believe. So I don't think it was a completely full two months, um, but you never know. She could have just said that to troll or it could she could have just wet her hair in that video. You never really know with Amberlynn, right? Like, what is this is from Zainacho. They say that too. Who knows what has happened to the cat that Destiny got to keep. They throw away their pets like it's nothing and they get brand new ones all the time. I have to say that definitely is something that really grinds my gears. I'm someone that when I get a, a pet, I keep that pet from birth till death or you know, at least since when I adopt it to death, right? Um, so that really bothers me when people do that. They treat their pets like like they're not living animals, like they're accessories. And that really bothers me. All right, this is from Marcella. They say, poor Becky. Uh, you know, there is kind of a back and forth in the comment section about whether or not Becky is a victim in all this or whether she's just riding the train to be able to fund her lifestyle which isn't really much of a lifestyle but hey she's got free housing she's got free internet she's got that ps4 a computer a phone that amberlynn bought she really did get a lot out of this so i really don't think uh poor becky 
anymore. I used to think that, but not poor Becky. She's choosing this lifestyle. She's choosing to be with Amber Lynn for the money or, or I mean, <laughs> she could be in love with her. I don't know. We don't know. So let's pick a winner. It's from Taylor and they say, why haven't you washed your hair in two months? Uh, apparently it was because of depression and that is why she decided to let it go for that long. I guess that's the narrative that she's spinning on Snapchat. I have to say it's, it's quite, um, quite annoying. All right. This is from Kaya. They say, I'd love to come back. Once you really start to focus on that weight loss, honey, you're gorgeous, but I'm scared for your health. And that's an interesting sentiment. I feel like a lot of people have started out feeling that way. You know, uh, we want to support you on your weight loss, but then it just be kind of, kind of became like a circus act with Amberlynn. And then, you know, she goes back to playing, playing up, like I'm doing a journey, I'm doing a journey so she can get those new viewers roped in that are here to support her and are doing like their own journey. But then like eventually the, those viewers turn to the dark side and they realize, you know what, this is kind of just a circus this is not going to be my weight loss inspiration now or ever. So it's an optimistic attitude to have though, Kale. So Destiny Ruiz, she says she wanted her hair to be as greasy as she is. <laughs> All right. Rude. This is from do not come for me. <laughs> Getting pregnant by your friend husband. She's not even ashamed to exist. Well, that was a comment based on, um, one of the stories that someone sent into Amberlynn, which I, of course, have to question the validity of anything that people sent into Amberlynn. I mean, let's be real here. LOL445, she said, Snapchat story. <laughs> Our girl is not the best at pronunciations, is she? This is from Jamie Reynolds. Hey, Jamie, I see you in the comments all the time. Thank you for supporting me. She says, I don't like the look of the high bun on anyone. And I have to say, I do agree. I think it looks pretty lazy. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the <gasps> next one. Bye, guys.